Hi, I'm Kurt with the Office for Mac Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new pre-formatted ledger sheets in Excel 2008 to help manage common financial tasks. If you're like me, an empty Excel grid can seem a bit intimidating. The new ledger sheets make it easy to use Excel without having to understand functions, formulas, or other spreadsheet jargon. To get started, in the Elements Gallery, you click Sheets, and then find the type of ledger sheet that you want. I use this budget sheet to track my monthly expenses, so let's go with it. You can have as many ledger sheets as you want in a single workbook. But let's focus on this one for now. As you can see, all the columns are already named, so you can begin adding transactions right away. All of the ledger sheet cells are already pre-formatted to help prevent mistakes. For example, you can't enter a date in a currency cell, or vice versa. So that we have some data to work with, let's look at a ledger sheet that I completed earlier. Here in the total column, you can see that the ledger automatically calculated the total as each transaction was entered. The formula is already in the cell, but I don't have to know or care what it is. Categories give you a convenient way to track your spending. To set a category, you click this button and pick one from the list. If the category you want isn't in the list, just type one in the cell and Excel will add it to the master list so you can use it with other ledger sheets. You can also quickly sort and filter any column, which makes it easy to see the transactions in a different way. You just click this arrow next to the column name, then pick the option that you want. Let's filter the column to see just the transactions in the groceries category. To see all of the transactions again, on the menu, click Show All. Although ledger sheets are pre-formatted, there are a few things you can do to customize a sheet, like move columns to a different position, change the grid style to give it a different look, set the row height for more or less space between rows, and insert or delete columns although I usually just stick with the ones that the sheet comes with. Keep in mind that all ledger sheet formulas are predefined, so you can't use the formula builder to add or change formulas, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. So that's how you can use the new ledger sheets to track and manage your finances. Be sure to check out Help and the Office for Mac website for additional Excel 2008 videos, courses, and content.